So Ed, we're talking about character um, today. So first of all, what is character? And then secondly, why is it important for leadership? Thanks, Matt. Well, maybe let's start with thinking about leadership. So leadership is naturally something we think of as a good thing. And that's right. It's really important. We need leadership in our world and we need leadership in all kinds of contexts. But if you think about it, leadership is um, an apparent good. It actually still has to land somewhere in the world. So leadership could be a good thing, but not necessarily. Think about medicine as a kind of parallel here. You know, medicine is excellent, wonderful, we all need it, but in order for medicine to do good as it lands in the world, it needs to be the right medicine for the right disease, at the right time, in the right dose, and so forth. And leadership's the same. Um, leadership can be an amazing thing in the world and do much good, but also do much harm. Leadership has to land in the world as an actual good. So what happens, or what's the gap, if you like, between leadership as the apparent good and the actual good in the world, the good leadership that we want to see and that we um, need to enact as well in our own context? Well, that space is the space for character, justice and wisdom, virtues like humility and hope, love, honesty, trust. They're what direct leadership towards good ends and in good ways. They're fundamental to what good leadership is about. So character, we're talking about these qualities, justice, hope, humility, curiosity, love, honesty, trust. We could carry on. These are virtues of character. Character is about who we are at a kind of fundamental level. Our qualities or deep dispositions of thought and motivation and action, they show up in the world and they're enduring across um, different contexts. And there are good characters, good character, that would be um, strengths or virtues. Virtuous means a strength of character and they'd be the qualities I mentioned. But of course, there's also um, bad character as well. And um, we could talk about vices in that regard. So greed or arrogance, despair or pride as examples there too. And maybe um, we're somewhat in the middle, neither perfectly virtuous nor um, absolutely awful, but still developing character. And certainly that's a, an insight from Aristotle onwards that character is something we can grow in. It's not set and fixed forever, but it's developed over time as we practice and um, reflect. We grow in our character too. Central for good leadership and becoming a good leader. That's great. And I, I think it's really important here to draw a distinction between what a system might permit and what is moral or ethically right. So just because the law doesn't prohibit you from doing something doesn't mean as a leader, you should exploit that opportunity, right? So character is aimed at something higher than mere compliance with minimal rules. Thinking again about the questions we ask about character at the individual and at the group level. And I alluded to trust and truly caring. And, and the way that we come to trust our leaders and know that they care about us is that they have persevered and provided that inspiring sense of hope when, um, you know, when we were weak or when we were ready to give up or something. So we can all be leaders in that sense of inspiring people through difficult times because we're focused on some higher good and we're we're willing to um, sacrifice or even suffer um, in the process of attaining that that greater good um, and so i think that's really the hallmark of a good leader is uh, building that trust and building that sense that they really care um, through these um, actions during difficult times so i think that's really just um, so helpful. And it relates to this notion of resilience. And I think that's a really important quality for leaders to have. And if you look at um, the concept of resilience, it's generally defined as the positive pole of an individual's response to stress and adversity. And so I think great leaders are resilient leaders. They have um, worked over the course of their lives to become more resilient. And it helps that they have um, some notion of the good 
towards which they're aiming, but it also helps that they've um, really been thoughtful about how they have encountered adversity over the course of their lives and try to draw upon um, the collected wisdom that you find in the humanities um, to make sense of how other leaders have, have understood um, adversity and how they have become resilient and how they have practiced that in the real world. Um, and so that's partly the goal of the course that we have, which is to get um, everyone in touch with a little bit of this wisdom. And there's some suggested readings if you're interested in going further, but it's an introduction to these kinds of ideas, the big ideas um, that have really inspired people uh, throughout the ages. Well, Matt, it's super to talk. Let's um, keep going through the module.